verse. Then after that, Surah Ibrahim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commences it by mentioning why He has revealed the Qur'an. What is the purpose and the aim of this Qur'an? Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka litukhrija nasa min al-dhulumati ila nuri bi-idhni rabbihim. The book we have revealed. Why? In order to take people out of the darkness and bring them to the light. Take them out of the paths of shaitan and bring them to the one siratul mustaqim, the one straight path by the will of Allah, by the will of their Rabb. Why does Allah say by the will of their Rabb? Because sometimes there are some people you can read the whole Quran to them, they won't bat an eyelid. Whereas the sahaba radiallahu anhum who were unlettered, one verse, one verse made them cry. Take a look at Umar ibn al-Khattabi radiallahu anhu, one of the arch enemies of Islam prior to his acceptance of Islam. He had to read a few verses as a non-Muslim. He read a few verses. He began to tremble. Where is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Take me to him. I want to go to him and declare the faith now. What a miracle. With us, we read one completion after the other completion and we haven't even been tickled by the verses of the Qur'an. May Allah not do that to us. We need this yaqeen. When someone reads the verses of the Qur'an, our hairs should stand. And we should be feeling this is our book that came from Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the understanding. In fact, a verse that we read this evening in the next surah. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of the protection of the Qur'an. And Allah says, إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا الذِّكْرَ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ I'm sure a lot of us know the meaning of this verse. We are the ones who have revealed this book and we will protect it. We will keep it in its original pristine form. No matter what people try to do to it, there will always be some way or another that this Quran will come back. Allahu Akbar. Now, we memorize the Quran. We should understand if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and let's listen to this statement, it's a deep statement. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that He is going to protect the Quran, then, if any one of us has memorized it, Allah has to protect us in order to protect the Qur'an inside us. That is something we must understand. So, the Huffad, they are not protecting the Qur'an. The Qur'an is protecting them. Allahu Akbar. This is one thing we need to understand and get straight. So each one of us, don't we all as Muslims memorize even a portion of the Qur'an? I'm sure every one of us knows Surah Al-Fatiha. All of us know Surah Al-Ikhlas. All of us probably know Surah Al-Kawthar, Alhamdulillah. So to a certain degree, Allah has used us also to protect this Qur'an. Let's thank Allah for that. And let's make an intention to try and memorize one verse a day, so that at least through the barakah of that learning of the word of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will be protected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Then.